and De Farid is the heart, is beginning to close in on Aslan Shah Kamrizaman. This is P3, Hafiz. There's P4, and Andy Farid is beginning to make up some ground, uh, Barry Russell. Yeah, we often see Andy come through strongly in the later part of the race. I would have expected him maybe to have been a place higher than he is right now at this stage. And with the field strung out as it is, he's got uh, no chance of getting close to Yuki Kuni, of course. He could put himself on the podium if he can get past his closest championship rival. Yeah, that does make it interesting. Andy Farid, 65 points. Aslan Shah, 63. Hafiz Sharin, 61. Hafiz is on for 20 points. Aslan is on for 16 at the moment. Sometimes we can see a pattern emerging at the halfway stage, but the pattern emerging here is that it's going to be a really close battle for the title. They're getting really close now and having a look at the inside of Aslan. He's not close enough as they go through turn 10. Aslan has a look around to see who it is. And here, getting closer. And uh, well, are we after this, it'll be three laps to go. Aslan now knows that Andy Farid is there. And Andy looks like he's riding very smoothly. Andy Gilang's given his nickname, the Indonesian. He's been in world championships and he's looking to, well, at least try to get closer to Hafiz Sharin Abdullah. Yeah, Andy's going to pick his spot to pass Aslan, but pass Aslan, I think he will. Looks like this, that would even them out in championship terms. There or thereabouts. Yeah. Too close to calculate. All depends on Yuki. Yuki Kuni comes into the reckoning. He moves on to the 60-odd points. And the form he's shown here for Yuki Kuni. It'll be a, a strong second half of the season. We go to Mandalika, we go to Sepang, we go to Buriram. Seven weeks apart between the next two events and then an 11-week torturous wait before we finish the season in Buriram. A lot can happen in seven weeks. Yeah, it can. And he's just making his presence felt, putting the pressure on Aslan. Aslan might be feeling too pressured, but he will know that the rider behind him has got a little bit more pace. He had a good look round to make sure who it was. He knows that Andy comes good late in the race. Referee not so far behind these two. So Andy Gilang is going to want to get away before his teammate, his rookie teammate, Akarin, gets too much closer. And that's a good point. Just to answer your question from earlier on, if Andy Gilang gets into P3 and Happy Sharin holds on to P2, they will be level on points at the top of the championship standings. That's if. But of course, it could happen that Andy Gilang loses a place because if you look at that, Chip Nakarin is closing right in. On yeah. Andy and uh, Aslan Sharp. Yeah, if Andy's got the pace, he needs to use it now in these next few turns. Put Aslan between himself and his teammate Nakarin. Nakarin really fancies this now. Andy might have left it too late. Show you Joe, number 16, is a back marker. He just needs to stay out of the racing path, which he does. And there goes Nakarin. So now he's on the tail of Aslan Shah. And Zakwan's there as well. Yeah, those three Hondas running together really well. Aslan leading that train on the green BMW. Three very fast men in red behind him. The team KKR team have already had one disappointment today in losing a player. That's the SDG team. And that's the 1XOX team. And the TKKR, I should call them. And yes, we have a change. Chip Nakarin is through ahead of Aslan Shah Kamrazaman. So Chip Nakarin is the man who's made the move. Yeah, he did look like he had the pace, and he didn't. We thought when he caught up Aslan that perhaps he would come through, but he hasn't been able to do it. Aslan holding on well, so Chip Nakarin looking good at this stage. Two, well, less than two laps to go. And good for a second podium this weekend. Very popular in the team among the management there. This group are nearly 12 seconds behind the race leader, who is just coming through the start-finish line. There is Yuki Kuni. He's on to his final lap. Happy Sharin. He's on to his final lap. So one and two, barring catastrophe, seems certain. Three, four, five and six, much less so. Chip Nakarin at the moment is the man who is there. Oh, and Andy Farage run wide as he went into turn one there. And so Zakwan, the injured Zakwan has gone through into P5. Not so far behind them. So Chiro Minamoto just having a look to see if he can do anything on this last lap. He's coming up behind Andy now. As things stand, we will have a new championship leader. And it'll be the colours of JDT. And in second place, Happy Sharin Abdullah. If he holds on to second place, he will move on to 81 points. Yuki Kuni comes into championship reckoning. If he wins, he'll move on to 764 points. But the battle for P3 is still ongoing.
Chip Nacker in the man in control. Aslan. Oh, we know Aslan won't give up. Oh, but he's under pressure there. Come on, Zach on tiny. Oh, who's this, Des? This is our winner. This is Yuki Kuni. This is a first win of the season for Yuki Kuni. And it brings us right back into championship standings. Yuki Kuni takes the victory for SDG Hawk Pro Racing. Comes around victory corner. Slows down. Will take the applause. Will milk the applause. Is celebrating already. He comes through in P1. Then Hafiz Sharin, our new championship leader, comes through to pick up 20 points in P2. In P3, it will be Chip Nakarin. What a weekend. Ahead of Aslan Shah, ahead of Zakwan, ahead of Andy Farid, ahead of Sachiro Dinamamoto. But it's all cheers for Yuki Kuni, Barry Russell. Yeah, and the SDG team. This is more than just a race win for them. This will mean the whole world for Yuki Kuni and SDG. And what a convincing win it was. Incredible pace. Best lap time. 149.9, we wouldn't have expected a 149 in a race, and he's done it. He's absolutely done it. 21-year-old Japanese racer, won here seven or so weeks ago in the All Japan Championship, and he's done it again at this level at the ARRC. The totally unbiased Japanese marshals again, <laughs> high-fiving him as they go past. <laughs> Wonderful stuff, and as you said, Des, this puts him into contention. So much expectation on the shoulders of Yuki Kuni yesterday. It came to nothing. Now it's been repaired and I can see 